it's so much more successful for you than other fighters. You know, it, it I, I, I just truly believe, Kevin, that um, I truly believe that um, um, not just me, not just myself, but we have so many different characters. You know, it's like my father. He, you know, he's when he's in the boxing gym and when he's working, he's Floyd Jordan. And then we got my uncle. He's a black mumble. So you know, we got different. We got we got different characters. We got um, kid, kids, children that's characters. Of course, myself. I'm, I'm leading the pack. And um, so many different personalities. And like I said before, so many different people in the gym. And we and and outside the gym. And we have fun. We know we know uh, when to turn it on and when to turn it off. And so I mean, and I think. Uh, that has that has worked for me uh, thus far. When 24/7 was first broached to you, did you immediately sense that this could be something that could take your career to a whole different level? Well, I mean, this is something that we had talked about. I mean, I mean we not just in 24/7, we're just talking about going in depth, you know, going behind the scenes and showing things they never showed, you know, other fighters before. We have talked, we talked about this in the, in, in the 90s when I first when I first. Uh, uh, got with HBO, we had talked about this. And then I can re remember when I first went to go do a, a huge photo shoot for HBO and, and some other little uh, uh, commercial things and you know, other things outside the box. Um, Mark Taffet was there. And I told him, I said, you know, I'm going to be a pay-per-view superstar. And uh, he kind of looked at me. I mean, he said nothing like, oh, you, you wasn't. And I said, I'm, I'm going to be able to go to the next level. You know, I'm going to be unbelievable. And I always told Linda that, um, you know, one day I truly believe that I will break the paper view numbers. And I told him I'll be in the biggest fight in boxing history. And I'll be around the sport for a long, long time. And, um, and he believed in me. And I just, I just know that we need to, uh, I, I truly believe that we need to put the right pieces of the puzzle together. As far as when I say the right pieces, as far as um, the right trainers, um, um, the right businessmen on the outside. As long as they already know I'm going to put the hard work in. Uh, outside the ring, and of course, when I get inside, you know, I'm gonna be an animal. So, you know, once we all got together and we came up with the with the right chemistry, we knew there was no there was no stopping Floyd Mayweather, and there was no limit to how how high I can go, you know, in the sport. The last uh, question on that regard: when you, you know, when you did your first pay per view fight before Gotti, you know, you kind of had a little change in persona. Good. Was that something that you felt like you needed to do? To, to establish yourself in any kind of different market? Well, I think right now, you know, out here in this world, you know, of course, you know, you know, in my household, and, and when, we, when we are with each other every day, me and my family, we, you know, I always tell even my staff, be, be positive, always be thankful for, for what you do, God, always be thankful for the position that you're in. But the thing is this, you know, uh, far as... The world right now, I'm going to ask you a question. In the world today, people love to see controversy, you know. You see, people love to watch 48 Hours. People love to watch Cops. And, and any show that's real, real controversy, people people love to watch. Even like the Jerry Springer show at one particular time. It was very, very uh, controversy. And so, you know, we just, I think that um, I'm just versatile. I'm, I'm, I'm very, very controversial. When I'm going home, I'm just Floyd Mayweather or... To my children, I'm just, I'm just dead. Floyd, you never card. You're 33. Mm -hmm. How important is it for you to see who you associate with, who you allow to be close to you? Well, um, and and has it taken on more importance as you've become bigger in stature beyond just a boxer? Well, it's something that I like, you know, that, you know, uh, me and Leonard talk a lot, but me and Al also talk, and Al was like, I mean, I mean, we'll do our job. Just promise me that you're going to surround yourself with the right people. You're going to surround yourself with the right people. And so, the, you know, I don't, I don't, like I said, I don't like that negative energy around me. You know, I feed off, I feed off positive energy. So a lot of times when I do, when I, when I know certain things, what's going on, as far as on the computer and with articles, if it's something extremely positive, and then you know uh, people from my camp, you know people from my team are bringing it to me and say, Floyd, now, this is one hell of an article, you know, or, or check this out. But if it's something negative, we don't we don't worry about it. I mean, the whole thing with with O.C. Harris last week and the dining. I mean, what, I mean, I mean, I mean, if, I mean, if you want to know something about O.C. Harris, wh whoever you whoever you refer to, you got to interview him. I'm Floyd Mayweather. I'm here to talk about my fight May first. Right. But I'm saying. Don't, don't you ever worry that I mean, I mean, I mean, like I said, all I got to say is one thing. 
in any situation. If it's dealing with my fight, you know, I'm going to answer the question. But something that has to do with something else, um, that has nothing to do with Floyd Mayweather. My last name is not Harris. My last name is Mayweather. That has nothing to do with me. Do you, do you worry about people trying to get close to Floyd? You shouldn't be close to him. That's part of your job. That, that comes happening in the gym yeah, every that, day. Yeah, that's just part of it. We have people sitting around, and we have, we have, I mean, people sitting around in the gym, exactly what they do. I see it every day. You know everybody they, who's in the gym every day with you? Well, we know the people that's in the gym. We know the people, what they do, actually. Well, they try to get close to Nate Jones. And they try to get close to Roger. And they try to get close to my daddy. How they, like, they got clothes or posters. Or we give you this. You know, it's, it's, it's bribery, basically. The ultimate goal is, I got to get close to Floyd Mayweather. That's the ultimate goal. But uh, my team, I mean, as far as my, um, my security team, um, all my assistants and everybody that you know that's with me, even 24/7, everybody played a major role, and I'm very, very thankful. And camp has went extremely, extremely, extremely well. So everyone who's near you, Floyd, you know them, right? Floyd? Is that true? Everyone that's around Floyd, you know them. inner circle. Oh, you know inner circle. Oh, you know them, right? <laughs> they've been, they've been okay by Floyd himself, right? See, near him and his family, you guys, right? The inner circle. Right. What about from your perspective in terms of making sure that that the right people are around for you? Well, talk? people are going to do whatever they want to do. People, you know, just like with in in all the sports and entertainment, you know, people tend to follow people who are successful. But Floyd has an inner circle who is family and his closest I friends heard, that he's come up circle, with. I heard our whole circle has changed totally. Oh, you know, what, what do we say? We didn't think about that. 60, 70 people coming up. I mean, only two people are still here. It's me and you. And everybody else has changed. I mean, it's mainly it's mainly the, the guys that I'm with. Mainly it's the guys that I um, grew up with. The mainly guys that's with me now is the guys I grew up with. And I think that um, Leonard was a lot older than the rest of the guys that was around. A lot of young hotheads. A lot of times, you know, they go out and do certain things. It's just, you know. I'm the, I'm the main person. When something happens, it falls back on me. So there's nothing I can do. But you say grew up, grew up in Grand Rapids, right? Oh, yeah. Grew up in Grand Rapids. Vegas. No, 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 no. You know I'm from Grand Rapids. Exactly. Yeah. That's why I wanted to double check. Uh, this is my adopted home. Right. I know. Let, let's talk about the fight. I mean, what do you think about as far as the whole um, entourage? We see all the people out here. How big of a fight do you think this will be in terms of pay per view and live gate? Only thing I do is just um, hope for the best. Only thing we can do is hope for the best. And um, Golden Boy, Richard Schaefer, um, Mark Taffet, um, two two guys I love to work with, and, and can always do business with Mark Taffet and Richard Schaefer. And like I said before, uh, Richard has done a, a tremendous job with Shane's career. He gave him his biggest payday. So, I mean, what can I say? <laughs> but it, but we but every time we do business, every time Golden Boy Mayweather Promotions and Golden Boy does business, it's a, it's a blockbuster. Do you guys set a goal for what you're trying to get, or is it just... There's no limit to what we can do. There's no limit to what we can do. The sky is not even a limit. You know, if you said you... You know, they say, okay, we set it to do... We say, if they did say, it's going to do 700. I mean, not this fight, but I'm saying this is one of my fights. it would do something like 1.4. So, um, we can never uh, set a certain number. Only thing we can do is hope for the best. And... Uh, Keep our fingers crossed and know that um, the ultimate goal is to always the ultimate goal is to always break records. So you know that's something that we always look forward to doing. So like when the, uh, the Pacquiao fight fell out uh, for whatever reason it did, did you think to yourself, "Hey, I've really got to find an opponent that's that's going to be well thought of"? I, 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 I'm not trying to be. I'm not trying to. And this is not bragging or boasting, but good. with or without. With or without um, a Pacquiao, Floyd is still going to be able to go out and get and go out and make twenty and thirty million a night. So with or without him, I'm, I'm still able to do that. So, I, just, but, I mean, did you feel as though you owed it to boxing fans to uh, come, no, up, with I don't, a, no, come no. up with an opponent? Yeah, who, I mean, of who course. Who was going to be a, a legitimate opponent, such as Shane Mosley, instead of you know fighting someone you know like you may have fought in your last fight? Or oh, the number two, the guy who I fought in my last fight, number two guy you talking about? Yeah. Who beat Pacquiao twice? That's the one you talking about? Yeah, a uh, okay, well, they, well, like I said before, once again, in the sport of boxing, sit back, you guys got to sit back and study it. 
study this sport a lot more. They say that um, they say that um, I was too big for Marquez. They say I was too big for Marquez, but they say I'm not too big for Pacquiao. But Marquez and Pacquiao are the same side, and 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 95 percent of the people that you that you see say Marquez beat Pacquiao, but then they say Marquez was old. They say Marquez was too old, but then Shane Mosley's older than Marquez. I'm all, like I said before, no matter what happens, no matter what happens, I'm always in a no-win situation.